hello everybody my name is Anna and welcome to my channel Anna always reading wow it's been a minute still since I made a video but I'm here and I'm coming at you with a book outlet unboxing I recently ordered 10 books from their recent summer sale when everything on the website was 15% off I bought 10 books for around $49.58 which is super duper cheap that's around five dollars a book but obviously some books were cheaper and some books were like seven dollars so we're gonna get right to it. This is also my first time getting something from Book Out in general, so this is gonna be like a first impressions little review going right into it. So, first thing, you got the box. And the first thing I wanna say, and I have to cover my address, is that this is really strange, you know? Like, what? I don't understand why this is really happening, but anyways, so I'm gonna get my trusty scissors, they're quite small, and cut into this. So as I cut into this, I'm going to talk to you about like, the delivery. I ordered this um, when the summer sale was going on, like the day before it ended, I think on Thursday. And they're like, okay, it's going to ship soon. But then I had some issues because I apparently got sent to like the wrong place. I don't really know. But they're here now and I'm so excited to get my books. Alright, so that's a receipt. First thing I see in this box is some packing paper. And then I see my books. <laughs> Alright, the first book in this box is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I've wanted to read this book for a long time. And it's in a really good condition. Like, I was afraid that these books would kind of look a little dusty. But this book looks really good. Wow. Wow. And then you have Signs Point to Yes by Sandy Hall. I don't really know what this book is about. I just want to read it. And then we have... Odds Against Tomorrow by Nathaniel Rich. This is a, an adult fiction novel. I think Science Point Yes is too, but I'm trying to get into more adult fiction. I just recently read Gone Girl, which was a trip. So let's go on. And then we have The Walled City by Ryan Grodin. I read his other book, the one with like the girl trying to like kill Hitler and that was so good. And my friend read this book for her ISU in school and she thought it was super duper good. So with those awesome recommendations, I thought to purchase this book. More packing paper. And then you have The Comet Seekers by Helen Sedwick. Uh, this is another adult book. I don't really remember what it's about. Ooh, I wanted, I've wanted this book for a long time. You have The Death in Life of Zebulon Flinch uh, by Daniel Cross. I really wanted to get both of the books, the first and second, but that was kind of reckless seeing as though I haven't even read this one. Why would I get the second book? And I don't know what if I don't even like this one, but like it's really pretty. And okay, I'm going to read the back because I'm really hyped about this book. Let us begin with this. I am 17 years old and also this. I have been 17 years old for over a century from the death and life of Zebulon Fletch. Like what? What? Immortality? Wild. And then you have Fire with Fire by Jenny Han and, oh my gosh, I know how to pronounce this name. I think it's Siobhan. I think it is Sibohan, Vivian. So, quick story, my aunt accidentally bought me the last book in the series. And then I went and purchased the first book, but like, I needed the second book. So here it is. It's really long. It's like both of those, first, it's like the first and second book put together. Wild. And then you have Illusion by Sherilyn Kenyon, which is a book in the Chronicles of Nick series. This is such a good series. If you haven't read it yet, I firmly believe that you should. I love these books so much. Oh, we're almost at the bottom. You have, and then, The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner. I saw Zentner. 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 Mm -hmm. So close. I don't, uh, I don't really remember what this book is about. But I remember seeing it in my public library a while ago, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to borrow it, so I don't know why I purchased it. But you know, snakes. Ooh, and this book I've been super duper excited about. It is the school, the last book in the School of Good and Evil series by Simon Chiney, the last ever after. I realize this is a middle grade book series, but I've been reading them for like since I was in middle school, and I am super duper excited to read this. The thing I love most about this book is the ruffled pages making it actually look like a storybook. I'm really down for that. But the box is empty. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with that box. I have enough boxes in my life ready. But thank you for watching this video. I realize I haven't made a video in a long time and I'm not going to make any promises about making a new one soon. I'm actually going away this summer once again for six weeks. So I will most likely see you guys at the end of August. Uh, side note, I'm starting another channel, Anna the Cool Kid, where I'm going to be posting more vlogs. I'm going to post like vlogs. So my vlogs about summer camp and then I'll be posting like lifestyle videos and whatnot. I'll still try to post videos here because I love books but yeah that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this book uh, unboxing. Now these books are just on my floor and I'm gonna have to put them away. Uh, if you want to see more of my face remember to subscribe to that subscribe button. If you want to watch more of my videos go check out my channel. Remember to like, share this video with your friends and last thing tell me what your summer plans are. Remember, reading today, reading tomorrow, reading five ever. Adios.